All right. So say your name for everyone's benefit. I'm Mary Ellen. Mary Ann? Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen. Um, I started feeling like I was ex um, experiencing emotions at the end of last year after Cornelius' talk. Yep. You really connected some emotions then, didn't you? Yep. 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 And it seemed to be improving a lot. And then I started feeling like I was piggybacking other people's emotions and I should be feeling mine. Right. And I did get a little bit of um, success there, but not anywhere near the depth of feelings I got. Can't you? Yeah. Well, not, it's all right. It just needs to be higher. That's okay. Fine. That's it. We want, you to, we want to hear you. Um, I started accessing some, experiencing some emotions after Cornelius's talk last year. And I felt I was doing quite well with it over about um, five or six weeks, but then thought that I was just piggybacking off other people's problems or emotions and that I should be feeling mine. And I started um, accessing not nearly as well, but doing some. Um, and then... Can I just address that firstly? When we feel emotions that other people are feeling but can't feel our own, there's some really core belief systems that are going on within us and core fears. And many of you will find that when somebody comes up here and starts expressing their emotion, you can connect with your emotion. But when you go home, you don't seem to be able to connect with it anymore. You notice that? And if you're noticing that, and that's a common issue that a lot of people have, if you're noticing that occurring, then it's because there's a feeling you have towards yourself that you don't have towards that other person who you're connecting with. So, for example, many of you, when Cornelius started describing some of the emotions that he was having about, you know, anger and, and this terrible shame that he was feeling about himself and his actions in the first century, many of you really connected with that, didn't you? So many of you had this grief come up, and many of you in the audience at the time, or watching the DVDs may have felt that grief. What's happening there is, you view Cornelius as more important than yourself. That emotion is actually inside of you, but you're not letting you feel it, and you can only feel it if somebody else is feeling it, which means that you do not value yourself enough to feel it. Does that make sense to everyone? So, so that's the first issue that you're facing. One of the major primary emotions that you face is that I'm not allowed to feel my own emotion unless someone else is in agreement with my emotion. And can you see how that relates to your childhood as well? Or just not allowed, right, or just not allowed to feel my emotion. Not allowed to feel your emotion, yeah. Yeah, which is definitely a childhood relation. There is a childhood relation between how your mum and dad viewed their own emotion and, and that's what caused you to suppress your own emotion. They taught me everything. They taught you everything you know. Yeah, exactly. Now, so does that understand that? So the first phase of what you're dealing with now, so the reason why you were feeling your emotions for six weeks or so is because you were doing, as you were saying, piggybacking your emotions on top of others. So them experiencing an emotion meant that you could experience your emotion because they gave you validation to experience your emotion. And they were the, the centre of attention. And, and exactly, exactly. Now what you're trying to do is swap it over so that you can be the centre of attention of dealing with your emotion. Mm -hmm. And because of that, in the other emotion, which is this emotion that I'm not worth anything, you're not allowing yourself to feel the emotion. Does that make sense? So that's the blockage. Mm -hmm. So the key is now to talk to God about how much you feel you are personally worth and how much you feel whether your emotions are worth anything and why you know and start investigating why you value other people's emotions more than your own does that make sense let yourself start investigating that emotionally so pray about that you know start start allowing yourself to feel why it's so easy for you to to connect to something if someone else is connecting while you've got that validation. And you'll find there are a list of fears in there. So if you do some kind of a fear list and list the fears you have about your own emotion, you'll find that you'll access some things there.